Keep that applause going for the next act of the stage, Emerson Young, everybody. Hey, yo. Hey, good to be back. Hello. I'm um, having quite a good day today. I had a bit of a shit weekend because I had to do my chores. I've been doing my least favourite chore. Uh, saved it to last. Uh, dusting the toilet. Because those things get fucking dusty, right? Anything else gets dusty. Carpet gets dusty, you can hoover it. You can't hoover the toilet. <laughs> you hoover the toilet, you've tainted the hoover. That then becomes a toilet hoover and you can never use it on anything else ever again. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Like, but, but the toilet, right? It gets dusty. It gets dustier than the top of my grand's cupboards. It even gets dustier than my gran. <laughs> She's been cremated. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, I went to a nightclub um, yesterday evening. Um, my mates are all there celebrating graduating from uni. I'm there celebrating having a really clean toilet. <laughs> I've also graduated recently. My priorities are just fucked. <laughs> but yeah, I'm there and, and I'm, I'm just vibing, doing my thing, you know. Just there, just... <laughs> My thing, vibing, all that shit. And my mate comes over and he's like, oh, Emerson, you're having a good time, you're having a bit of a dance. Sorry? <laughs> you're having a bit of a dance, having a good time. A dance. <laughs> oh, this isn't dancing, this is just autism. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I, I've got... <laughs> I've got dyspraxia, which is a coordination disorder, so if I were dancing, it would look something like this. <laughs> <laughs> like I was sort of trying to discreetly extricate my underpants from my arse crack <laughs> while trying not to step on my cracks <laughs> and being chased by a really angry gorilla. <laughs> but yeah, no, I am autistic. Obviously, I'm autistic, or that first bit would have been very brave. <laughs> um, <laughs> But no, I, <laughs> I, I'm autistic, and lots of people have sort of uh, lots of preconceptions about people who are autistic. They might assume that I've got quite specific fixed interests, and I've got all these stereotypical sort of views. So they might think I'm, I must really like things like chains, computers, dinosaurs, all that shit. <laughs> and it's annoying, right? It's really annoying. And the thing that annoys me most about it about it is. I fucking do love all of those things. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there on a train using my portable computational device to look at pictures of a fucking triceratops and I couldn't be happier. <laughs> yeah, I, I love trains, they're great. And it did mean when I was younger, um, you know, my sort of rebellious teenage phase wasn't quite as rebellious as everybody else's. <laughs> Let's just say, well, uh, while lots of my peers were on coke, I was on the 1754 <laughs> to Doncaster <laughs> via Rotherham Central. <laughs> and... Lots of my peers were having sex. I was having no sex. Because <laughs> it's against Northern Rail's conditions of carriage. <laughs> but yeah, I, I love trains. I, I, I used to really like riding on them with one foot in one carriage and the other foot in other. <laughs> and just sort of... You close your eyes, it's almost like you're surfing. <laughs> I've never been surfing because I don't want to ruin the illusion. <laughs> but yeah, it is a great hobby for a dyspraxic kid to have, standing up on a moving vehicle. Because uh, you can spend all your pip on train tickets and justify it. You can justify it as extreme improvised physiotherapy. <laughs> I'm going to... 
I'm going to leave you with some life hacks that I've come up with over my admittedly fairly short life. Um, if you're doing the washing up and you're worried you're going to drop a plate or a bowl or something, try and drop it before you've washed it rather than after. Then you save yourself <laughs> some unnecessary washing. <laughs> and um, if, uh, if you're brushing your teeth, toothbrushes, notoriously quite flimsy, not very durable, got to replace them every so often. If you use the more unconventional end, they actually last a lot longer. <laughs> and you've got the bristles as a soft little cushion for your hand. <laughs> and finally, every toilet has the potential to be a bidet. <laughs> if you use it badly enough. <laughs> Which, incidentally, also deals with the aforementioned dust problem. Thank you very much. <laughs> I've been Emerson Young. You can follow me at Emerson Young Comedy. Emerson Young, everyone!